Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's class. Guys, I hope all of you are aware of the live classes, the timetable of which is there in front of you. For all your career about the approach to live classes, and you all know that live classes are beneficial because you get the opportunity to get your doubts resolved. So why wait for anything else? Now you have the opportunity, right? This is our mobile application which you can download from the Play Store. On this application, you get many features like you get the updates about the examination, you get the updates about the latest videos that we upload on the YouTube channel. So you now you don't have to go to the YouTube and look at our channel to know uh, when are we uploading the new video. You will get the update on the application itself. You also get an easy access to the live sessions. You also get uh, to know in advance the live sessions which are scheduled, and also you get to you get the easy access to the course itself. So there are a lot of things on this application. Explore the app, download it from the Play Store. Now before teaching you, uh, let me inform you guys that you can call us. So students who are watching me for the first time, guys. If you need any kind of guidance in preparation or in anything else, you can call us on this number. We are here to help you from Monday to Saturday, uh, 9 to 6 p.m. Also, we can directly connect with our answer after 6 p.m. This is the, the website of ours where you can know more about us. We have one more website that is discussion.anujinder.in where you can upload your queries and we directly look into the queries and resolve them then and and this is the email ID last but not the least. You can write to us also if you need, uh, if you have any kind of problem and you don't find time to call us. You can also write us. So that was all about the introduction. Now let's begin with the questions. Now let me inform you guys. All of you know that this is the month end. Just a month end mein ghar ke budget ki halat bhi ho jati hai. Ta aise hi news ki halat bhi dil ho chuki hai is month end mein. So aaj ke session mein zyada questions nahi hai. So five questions which we will discuss. So much of current affairs is the budget is too bad. So come here news. But yes, meaningful hai. These news can be asked in the examination as well. So let's begin. The first question is which state has signed an MOU with the US based Bali for the Ocean uh, Oceans Organization on Plastic Waste Management. So a very, very easy news because there is nothing much to this news. There is an MOU that has been signed by the Bangladesh government with the US based organization named as Pali for the Ocean. So, this organization and Andhra Pradesh, both of them are going to collaborate so that the plastic waste can be reduced in the state. That is the basic idea. Okay, and the major focus will be on uh, reducing the plastic waste that goes into the ocean. Second question is which state has launched the Mahila Nidhi scheme on Women's Equality Day to help them sustain their livelihood as well as uh, start some small business ventures for their economic benefit. So here you have five options out of which Rajasthan is the right answer. So Rajasthan has launched this initiative Mahila Nidhi and guys Rajasthan has become the second state in India to launch this kind of an initiative. Now what this initiative is, I will tell you later, but first I want to tell you the date on which we celebrate the Women's Equality Day. So it is celebrated on August 26th and there are all no specific theme of this date in this state. Now guys, what is Mahila Nidhi scheme? Mahila is women, Nidhi is pressure. So clearly this scheme hints at the finances. So it is about the finances. If this scheme is going to provide the finances to the women. But what kind of women and what kind of uh, finances would this scheme provide? So this scheme would provide finances to the women's self-help group, to the poor background women so that they can start their business. And if they are already running the business, so they can scale up the business. So these are the major benefits or you can say the objectives of this Mahila Nidhi scheme. Okay. So here as you can read that this scheme aims to help the women sustain their livelihoods as well as start some small business ventures for better economic empowerment. 
So Mahila Nidhi will be established to the Rajasthan Rural Livelihood Development Task. Now I have already told you that Rajasthan is the second state after Telangana, uh, which has launched this Mahila Nidhi now can any one of you tell me that which is the first country in the world which started a women's bank? This is your question you have to tell me that which bank was it which started the entire uh, and all you can say an all women's bank. Okay, you have to tell me in the comment section. Now the aim of this Mahila is to strengthen the women's self-help groups by facilitating financing from banks and increasing the income of women from the poor household. Now guys, you all know that women labor force participation rate in India is quite low. It is at approximately 19% and we are very much below the global average of around 31%. Therefore, we need to improve, especially in the field of labor force participation rate as far as the women's economic empowerment is concerned. So these are some of the challenges in the economic area of India and this kind of initiative is going to increase that only. Okay. Now do not forget to mention the answer of my question. Moving ahead, with which country has India based manufacturer and global supplier of automotive components Samvardhan Mother Son International Limited partnered to identify investment opportunities in the Middle East nation. So here you have Israel, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia in the options out of which Saudi Arabia is the right answer. Now guys, Samvardhan from the very name itself you can identify that this company is an India based company. Okay, now this company has signed an agreement with the Ministry of Investment of the Saudi Arabia so that this company can explore the opportunities for investment in Saudi Arabia. So basically what kind of opportunities? Uh, this Sanwardhan Mother Sun is going to set up its own automotive component manufacturing plant or something like that in Saudi Arabia and in order to check out the feasibility of setting up such plant uh, this agreement has been signed between the Samvardhan Madarsan International Limited and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Question number 4 is which international automobile company has announced the setting up of a new global research and development company in India? So clearly from the options itself you, know, uh, you can assess that all of these companies are the international companies which are operating in India as well. Okay, majorly the automobile, especially in cars, we have the uh, imported cars only. Majority of the cars or the companies which manufacture the cars, they are the foreign companies which are operating in it. Uh, hardly we have any indigenous company of ours except for Maruti Suzuki. That is one company. Then we have Hero Honda, which is a collaboration between an Indian and a foreign. So we have very few takers in the sector of automobile. Now we have this international company which has announced to set up the new research and development center in India. So which company is it? So it is Suzuki Motors. Okay. Now this Suzuki Motors belongs to Japan. Now it has announced to set up a new global research and development company in India which will definitely uh, work on developing new innovations in the field of automobile sector. Now this new company would be a wholly owned unit of Suzuki Japan and it would help Suzuki in strengthening the R&D competitiveness and capabilities not only for India but for the global markets. Okay, And this was said during an event in Dhanabad. So guys, this is an important uh, you can say a milestone for India because now the research and development uh, facility will be set up in India. So this is going to give a boost to the innovation sector in India as well because from where are they going to hire the employees? Obviously from India. Maybe it can happen that the higher level employees are from Japan but major majority of the employees would be of Indian origin in this company. So it is going to create the jobs, it is going to provide the innovation 
to India. It is going to impart the research and development uh, information to Indian employees as well. So this is going to benefit. The next question is, who is the author of India's economy from Nehru to Modi, a brief history book? So it's a very interesting title. I haven't read that book. If you get the time, do read this book because this seems to be very interesting. Now let's come back to the answer of this question. So the answer is option B. Pulafri uh, Balakrishna is the right answer. So here guys, this video ends. As I told you, he mahine ke end mein current news ka budget hai. So, news these were the news and in my opinion all of these news are important for your Navar examination. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you feel any kind of uh, feedback that you need to give, you can provide it in the comment section below. If you want to discuss anything or if you want anything to be discussed in the session, that also you can mention in the comment section below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Have a good day, prepare hard because you have very few days left in your examination.